Hi guys, finally I will demonstrate how you can use free version of Metapipe and I will demonstrate it on the org itself. Okay, so first thing first, you need to update this file by clicking on update and open DNA viewer. Inside it, copy your paths and paste it to here like this and load DNA, select all meshes and click on three of these. For GUI, go to your DNA calibration, inside data folder, select GUI by click on this, same paths, analog GUI, same paths, additional assemble, and click on process and discord. So it loaded and first thing first, you need to click on load DNA, otherwise it won't work. You can save this scene because this is one time scene. If you have issues, you can go back to this scene and continue from that. It is a checkpoint. I will import my meshes. So imported all of my meshes. It's in here. And what I will do is I will go to enable X-ray joints and select the root joint and move it to here like this. I want to match the eye position. First, I will select this one and go to our spine, spine 5, clavicle, and I will select upper arm R and move it to here, like that. And also upper arm L, I will manually like this. And for the mouth area and areas, First, let's make it simple. I will call the radius 0 0.01. Select your root joint and select hierarchy, radius to 0 0.01. And then I will move those joints. Yeah, I will move the jaw joints in the correct positions and place them on the correct sides. It should roughly match and I will do this in time lapse. And I placed them roughly. If you spend more time on it, you can make it better. But obviously it is not the best workflow. But you can do something like this. And then the eye area and the mouth area is really important. The other parts, not that much. You will see that. And select our human mesh and go to your sculpting tab. Open shape editor. Create a blend shape. And then select your head. Add selection. I also go to your original one, duplicate it and add selection as target. Set the duplicated version as minus one and the other one is one. And you can see that now it is working from this to this. And I will go and save DNA. For the other things that you want to change for eyes or the teeth, it is the same process adding a blend shape and adding a delta blend shape set at minus one and set the custom mesh as one and you will get your result and as you can see it is now exported like this and let's see how it works not that bad i'm impressed oh it's really good for the free version that one is perfect and for the eyes oh guys free version is really good it takes a little time, like half an hour or something like this, but it is great. Final look of it is great. And also 
you can make it even better. I just roughly placed everything and if you place all of things to the right positions, I think it's perfect. So let's prepare to export and it changed our namings and now we can load our body. So because there is no build body function, you can directly load your body DRE file. So just click on load body and it loaded our body. So the error is not important. The error comes from the body file and don't come to Discord for that. If it's working, it's working. If it's not working, you can come. And as you can see, it is working. So again, what we can do is we can just move them in places. Let's roughly try this one. Maybe we can import our body to see it. I think you understand the process, guys. Uh, all of the things are moving correct places of the joints and not that hard, but a little time consuming. So after that, we will fix our body because these joints should be in the same position because they're the same joints. So I will fix body and it fixed the body. And then I will connect the body because now they are not connected, as you can see. These both joints should be connected. So I will connect body and now they are connected to each other. So I, if I hide this and select this one, go to your blend shapes. First of all, you need to make it bind pose. To do that, I will, I copied this, select duplicated one and click on DHA body root. Go to rigging tab and inside skinning bind skin and then select first mesh and then duplicated mesh skin, copy skin weights. So as you can see, they're great. You can delete the first mesh and then select this one, create blend shape, duplicate it, add selection as delta mesh, target minus one, and then add your custom mesh, the blend shape as one. And as you can see, now it is working. And again, it is not that bad as you can see. So yeah, this is how you can create your custom metahuman. Even if it's a orc, you can create it with free metapipe version. Hope you like it and good luck with your free custom metahumans. Bye.